Hey, what's going on? Tony from Learn Auto Body and Paint here. And this Miata project, uh, we're doing a custom uh, body kit on it and we're molding a few uh, different pieces, air dams in the front. Uh, we, we cut out the side blinkers from the original uh, body kit, uh, the bumper cover, and we're putting it into this body kit here. So I cut everything out, uh, we put it in, then we epoxied everything up. So this is just giving you a preview video. Something's wrong with the clip here. You can see it moving, but the rest of the videos are going to be okay. Uh, anyway, uh, be sure to watch out for the rest of the series on this. Uh, we have a bunch of videos on this project uh, from beginning to complete. And after this, be sure to go to learnautobodyandpaint.com to grab your free 85 page auto body manual that I'm giving away. Thanks. Bye. Okay, all I'm doing here is just sanding down the epoxy and sanding around the whole area, getting it, you know, 80 grit paper, hitting the piece that I inserted in with 80 grit paper. This way we could lay our body fill over the whole front of that now and, you know, start doing our, our regular body work to it cutting it down with uh, Bondo. So ideally what you want to do is take the light out if you feel like you're going to scratch it or if it's in your way. Just go ahead and pop the lights out and stuff. You may have your bottom bumper cover off. This would be easier to get to it. But you could also do it like this if you're comfortable with the machine. So just keep your DA flat at all times and you know feather the edges as long as your DA is flat you're going to be able to see high and low spots but you need to keep your DA moving you know around the light and left to right and up and down just kind of see the way I I use the DA if you're not comfortable use the hand block with 80 grit so all I'm doing here is using a little paint stirrer with some 80 grit paper on it and using the corner of it just to get that lip off and get it nice and flat. So you could, you know, use get creative, use anything you want, wrap some sandpaper around it if you feel it's going to be able to get into tight spots for you. Um, they're usually good for like door seams if you're working in between a door and a fender and you want to get that edge. Um, bumper seams like this, you, you know, you want you got to get underneath the panel a little bit. This is a great way to get to it. Um, if you're worried about scratching the bumper, loose it up and drop it down a little. That's all you need to do. So we're doing the same technique here that we did on the rear spoiler. We're just hitting off the high, all the high edges of the epoxy on our bottom body kit and on the bumper cover, just you know, to save us some time instead of doing it by hand. Uh, just you just want to hit it all down with a DA if you're comfortable with it get it all flat you know don't stay in one spot too long because you're gonna start to cut the body kit down because it's fiberglass and 80 grit cuts through it pretty quickly so we're just getting it down nice until we're left with a little u-shape area inside then we're gonna actually go over with more epoxy with our finger then we're gonna actually finish it off with our finger going in there so we get that nice u-shape